Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, Earthlings, wherever you may, may be on planet Earth. Um, oh, I've left, left my drink all the way over there. I'll have to talk to them. Graham, show them your... Show them... She says, I'm not man enough to wear them. And there you go, I am. And he's wearing all black and my kimono. I'm wearing a kimono. Just going to get my my drink and then I'll be back. It's only here. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about... I know you love talking about the history and that is really fascinating, the history of buildings. And we all watched the, um, the uh, laying in state ceremony and everything today. And I thought it was magical, really, really magical. It really brought out um, in me the, the regality of it all and like the Cinderella moments. I know it's the Queen laying in state, but wow, what a, what a way that it's all coming to a close and the crown on the coffin and the hall and all of the uniforms and the effort that must have gone into them all doing that. It looks, you know, dead easy, doesn't it? They're just, you know, don't you? Oh, they have when you're to on practice parade, over it, and over it, Imagine and over the again, stress yeah. Yeah. if they put one foot wrong and they know that the whole world is watching. They must have felt so, so tense. I bet they're exhausted and they've all got to take turns. Do you know what must be the hardest one? Is the people who actually carry the coffin yes because they don't wear rubber boots they wear ammo boots with studs metal studs yes. and they're slippy as fuck you know what i mean and can you imagine dropping Look, the queen a marble <gasps> worst oh my nightmare god. ever someone slips over oh my god and the coffin hits the ground and the queen rolls out don't i mean don't. That, that is got to be the you can see their faces they are shitting themselves Watch it back. Yes. Because they don't want to be the person that dropped the grenade. Honestly, it's not funny. But that's exactly what they're thinking. It's a great honour and privilege to actually carry the Queen's coffin. But can you imagine if they slipped? Actually, you've just reminded me of a story. Um, and I'm pretty sure the guy's dead now. Now, I was not there when this happened. This was in Lewis, where my dad was uh, the under-sheriff. And there was a guy called Reverend Hapgood, who liked to slip into the Pelham Arms for an extra whiskey before weddings and funerals. And um, everyone nicknamed him Friar Tuck in Lewis <laughs> because he looked a bit like that. And he was very popular. And he was in the Pelham Arms having a few Swifties and entertaining them all. And he saw a funeral coming down the street and they said, oh, who's that? And uh, it was St Anne's Church just across the road, which was his parish. And he went, oh, my God, that's one of mine. So he necked his whiskey, ran across the road, conducted the, the, the I mean, the, the coffin was in the hole. And he was so pissed. He was swaying backwards and forwards. And apparently... <laughs> He fell no. face first no. into the hole oh. on top of the coffin. He did. A, you've just reminded me of that story. And the people that were there said you could hear the splintering of the lid of the coffin because he was a big chap. I've just remembered that. My father told everybody that story over and over and over again. I watched, I watched them putting the Queen on the aeroplane. And you've got to walk up the ramp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, the soldiers have not got hold of the coffin. They've got their arms round the back they, of the they other go, soldier. They go under as well. Yeah, don't they? but the, I guess they've got the front hand on the coffin, but they're going to go up a ramp now. And the guy at the back, the officer who, who oh, was in yeah. charge, he had his hand on the back of the coffin <laughs> to make sure it didn't yeah. slide. Because can you imagine being the Just person? Just don't, 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 don't. No. I've got... No one ever has that I know <laughs> of, but that's... It doesn't bear thinking about, but it brings mind. me to the next subject. Go on. I thought that the Princess of Wales... Oh, wasn't she marvellous? As usual, like a swan. Like a swan. And she wore the Queen's brooch. Now, this brings me to another subject, that one of the things I don't like is when the royal family feel that they have to tone it down with jewels and pageantry because of 
you know, be sympathetic. Yes, people... Any pe more gin, darling, is that it? Uh, there's none. There's oh, none. Oh, no. Because people are suffering. People, uh, uh, they're always suffering. We all have a hard time with money. But one of the things that I personally like about the royal family is... I want to see the tiaras, I want to see the jewels, I want to see the pageantry. I don't want to see a dumbed down version of the royal family or, um, yeah, oh, they're yeah, just wearing yeah, yeah. a skinny gold chain. I want to see all of that. And a lot of the jewels have history. And there is a story behind it. Yeah. A great story behind it. Like, you, you know, as you were saying, I, I didn't notice the thing about the crown. You said there's two pairs of earrings hanging from the crown. From the Mary Queen of Scots, they said. Oh, and that's a little inappropriate considering she lost her head. And and who else is? Oh, Edward the Confessor's ring. He's the guy <laughs> who built. <laughs> Do you know? I thought you were going to say Edward the Confessor's earrings. He's the guy that's who built really? Westminster Abbey. That was a progressive society. A little more progressive. Yeah. No. His ring, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what they said on the news. I didn't know that's. I didn't know any of that until today. But I mean, it, it just Ca Catherine, Princess of Wales. No matter what the occasion, she always brings the Cinderella mm. moment to the forefront. And that's what I absolutely love about her. And actually Camilla also. Because the Queen, the Queen always, when she was on red carpet events, whether it was for James Bond, she had all the jewels, like the Brazilian um, a uh, aquamarines. She was out of the crown and matching earrings she's always yeah but you want the royal want princesses and the queen and everything to look fabulous don't you exactly you expect them you don't want them rocking up in a tracksuit do you no you know absolutely I mean they could not. if they wanted to but yeah you, I don't want to see that that's not what the people want to see There's they want to see them look in the part don't they well on some occasions that's that's appropriate jeans and a t-shirt yeah and they do that very well on state occasions you expect them to dress the yeah, part and, I thought the Prince and Princess of Wales looked magnificent and King Charles and Queen Camilla. I thought they were all extremely dignified and the um, Earl and Countess of Wessex, Princess Anne and her husband, and his name yeah. escapes me to my shame. Lawrence at or something, isn't it? Uh, Timothy Lawrence, but he's got rank. He's very high Yeah, he's a, he's a Navy person. He's an Admiral, he? isn't he? He's, or I don't know. Uh, yeah. And... Um, I, I just thought they all looked absolutely magnificent and all of the, the people that had rehearsed and the way that, that the colour of the stone in the hall was just lovely. Very, very kingly, queenly, Fabulous. princess, prince -like. Did you notice in the hall they set up these um, like platforms and scaffolding at the side and it's all painted the same colour as the walls to blend no, in? No, I didn't notice They're that. all temporary, I'm sure. And when you go to... Westminster Abbey for the funeral when when Diana went in through the the the, through the which gate was it the east east gate mm. they set up again these these towers for the cameras. each side of the door for the cameras like a little pillbox each side they're not there normally they only set them up for the cameras in fact I think Arthur, but they blend in they blend in so well with the building that you don't even notice them I think Arthur Edwards the from the Sun was in one of them was he okay well that's just a quick uh, update, and uh, yeah, so I, I don't know what's what's in store for tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing. The Queen, right. the Queen is in lying in state for the next few days, and the the so humans, the humans are all filing past. Yeah. And queuing up for up to thirty hours, they said on the news, but I don't think there's as many people as they. Oh, I did want to say something else. I watched an absolutely lovely video today, if any of you have, uh, I don't know if you have seen it or not, Queen Gertie. Um, oh she, yeah, with the budgie on the red. Oh no, Disco died. Did he? he died, yes, when? about three weeks ago now, I think. Uh, Queen Gertie is another YouTuber, and uh, yeah, she did, she had a little budgie, and he just jump on top of her head and then her shoulder and down her arm. Absolutely lovely, but sadly he died. Well, she took flowers on behalf of all her subscribers, and I'm one of them. And um, it looked like it was a. She walked. She and her friend Katie walked about 25 miles, I think, and she filmed all the flowers. Um, it's a good video, so check out Queen Gertie. I thought it was absolutely lovely, and she's got a new 
pet. She's got a kitten called Diva, who's a lot like our Diva. What is it, Cat? No. Oh, it's the ice mate. What is that? Intruders, where's my gun? It's Benji. Oh, it's Ben. Right. Time to end the video. Is it Ben? Yeah, I heard him belch. It is Ben. Oh, it's the kids. They've come to invade us. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't last. Good night. And may your gods go with you. Hello. Hello.